With the recent success of Alien Romulus in theaters, it was inevitable that the conversation would ultimately turn back to Sigourney Weaver, reprising her role for the fifth time as Ripley. She of course started the franchise in Alien, kicking butt in Aliens, and then being killed off in Alien 3, only to be resurrected in Alien Resurrection. But a lot of time has come and gone. We've had several prequel films. We now have Romulus, which is taking things after the events of Alien with a new younger cast. Why now? Why return to Sigourney Weaver's character Ripley? Well, that's what a franchise does when it's creatively bankrupt. I want to talk about my thoughts on this and whether or not it's a good idea to see Ripley once more. What we have here, oh my God, there's a chest burster on the ground. If you could do me a solid, they're, they're scared of subscribe buttons. So if you could hit it really quick and gently, that'll keep it at bay. Just do it now really quick. It's, it senses that you're doing it. Good, thank you very much, I appreciate it. In a recent interview with Deadline, Sigourney Weaver admitted that the Ripley character is very close. There have been several iterations of scripts presented to her over the years, but nothing has wowed her in a way that said, yeah, I absolutely have to return. But the door is still wide open for her. She did add to this saying, I don't really think about the character that often or if people really want to see her again. But if a great idea was presented, she would consider it. How about don't consider it? <clears throat> that's, my, that's my wild take on this. In the past, I was far more forgiving and even excited about characters returning until... I saw them return. On paper, hearing Han Solo return to Star Wars seems like a great idea. I remember his sarcastic devil may care attitude as he's jumping through space in his Millennium Falcon with his companion Chewbacca. Unfortunately, paper and reality are two completely different things. Now watching Harrison Ford still wearing the jacket, looking tired, also wearing the hat and whip at 80 years old doing the Indiana Jones shtick, it's not the same. Jamie Lee Curtis came back for that new Halloween trilogy, playing Laurie Strode once again. It was cool to see her. They did something interesting with the character, but watching Grandma go up against Michael Myers and kind of holding her own? Pretty ridiculous when you think about it for even a second. Then we have Jurassic World, paying some respects to the original Jurassic Park, having new characters, taking things in a different direction, but then ending up back where they started anyways, bringing back all of the fan favorites from the original and using them in the worst ways possible. We have a new Beetlejuice coming out. Michael Keaton's back. Why? Why? What's left to say? Most of these actors and their characters worked because of when they came out, the age they were at, the way that they were able to perform as these characters. Bringing back a 74-year-old Sigourney Weaver as Ripley, what are we going to do with that character? And how does it even make sense? Weaver was 28 when the original Alien came out. If we're going to go off of Romulus, which takes place between Alien and Aliens, she's still around 28. She didn't suddenly age 40-some years. And she's not dead yet, so we can't even do the clone thing, really. I mean, I guess you could awkwardly have a clone version of her somehow, with the real one still being alive. <laughs> but what do you get out of that? She's still 74. You gonna de-age her? What are you gonna have her do with the new cast that survived? You gonna have her uh, teach them the ropes? We're gonna get old, wise, sage Ripley showing these kids how to take on the xenomorphs, being edgy and a total badass, strong female lead, smoking a cig gun. You kids don't even know the half of it. I went up against a queen. I am a queen. The bottom line is we've tried this formula. Financially, sure, it seems very successful for studios to do, so I understand why they would try to keep coming up with ways to bring her character back. From a story standpoint and an entertainment standpoint, though, it rarely hits that well. Oh, she said the line. She said the thing. They used the same camera shots as they did. Alien Romulus, I praised. I really enjoyed that film. I, I understand it has a lot of problems, and its biggest problem is it's steeped in nostalgia. From the camera shots, from the dialogue, the references are all over the place but it actually was a good story and it was visually fantastic on its own. It didn't need all that other crap. So I fear, much like they did with Jurassic World, they are gonna go all in on the nostalgia even more. That seems to be the lesson they always take away. Who else can we bring back? What about Michael Bean? What's he doing these days? Can we somehow wedge him into this? Or how about little Newt? Let's get that character back. No, let's not. 
Alien Romulus got the soft reboot treatment. It did what it needed to do. It brought fans back to that iconic original look and feel of the first films. Now we go in a new direction. Do not double and triple down on nostalgia. Do not go the member berry route. But I've said it before and I'll say it again. Most movie franchises after one or two, they're kind of done. They're creatively bankrupt. They just rest on what worked before. They, they throw a little twist here and there, but really it's the same story. It can work to an extent when a lot of time has passed and you just want to relive the magic. Sure, then a Romulus really hits. It really fits right with people, with a lot of people, not all. But you got to do something else for the sequel. We expect more. To Star Wars The Last Jedi's credit, it tried, I think, to do something new. It just failed spectacularly in the eyes of many. And if they're going to go the Halloween route with Alien, meaning they take it from Romulus and go on in a different direction and they ignore all the rest of the canon, meaning Aliens doesn't exist, Alien 3, which would be bizarre not to count aliens in that uh, timeline, but I guess they could somehow take Alien Romulus 2 after aliens and really get convoluted with things. Then sure, you could take us into the future where Alien 3 didn't happen, Ripley made it back home and she is 74 and there's a xenomorph invasion or something, but then you lose some of the characters from Romulus. Not that I guess it matters that much. They were all kind of empty shells at the end of the day. I don't know, I just don't see it happening. As much as I would really like if Ripley did have a better send-off, because I do not like Alien 3 in any shape or form, and I hated that her character was basically just dragged through the mud over and over again for three films and got nothing at the end of the day. It would be cool to see her happy and we get this lore that she's been spending, you know, 40 years married happily, has a family, blah, 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 but I can put that in my head. There's Alien and Aliens. I don't need another film to show me she lived happily ever after. And these are just my thoughts. That doesn't mean it can't work or they should do it. It's just history has this nasty way of repeating itself. And from the movies that have brought back the old dogs for one last ride, I, I don't care. I don't need to see Axel Foley back on the mean streets still wearing the same jacket for 40 or 50 years. Why is this guy not retired yet? It's fun seeing Michael Keaton reprise his role as Batman, but again, I I didn't need it. I don't need it. And doesn't sound like a lot of people went to The Flash to see it. So let's chalk Romulus up to a win and try something different completely. That would be fun. Even if you swing and miss, at least you didn't just walk to first. How boring. I want to hear from you though. Are you excited about the potential, the possibility of Ripley returning for a fifth outing? Or do you think it's time to just let her bones rest? Sigourney Weaver's still busy. She's got plenty of projects. She's fantastic. Let her just keep doing her thing. Let's stop trying to dredge up the past. If you like the commentary, please think about liking the video, subscribing as I post tons of movie reviews, commentary, live streams every single week. Would love to have you stick around. If you love what I'm doing, I have a second channel, Adam Does Rants, where I'm just bitching up a storm about first world problems in a hopeful comedic way for you. The idea is to make you laugh, and if I did, well, then I've done my job. If you super duper love what I'm doing and you appreciate the grind, join me on patreon.com slash adamdoesmovies. There's different tier levels, and with them come perks. But again, it's, it's really just to help support this one-man band, and I would appreciate it.